thunderstorms outside today definitely melted cheese weather so to make posh cheese on toast welsh rabbit it's not welsh and it hasn't got any rabbit in it or rabbit um it's welsh rabbit but it's it's a british recipe it's not particularly welsh so how do you make it okay first thing you need 25 grams of flour 25 grams of butter that's for the roux 140 grams of cheese i use cheddar cheese you can use any cheese you like whatever you, whatever's nice but cheese is the star so don't use processed cheese use a real cheese nice sharp cheddar is really good uh, you want some english mustard got some marmite ground white pepper or black pepper if you've got it but white's good um, normally you'd use um, a brown, brown ale or a stout but I prefer it with a lager so peroni and Worcester sauce okay Worcestershire sauce or Worcester sauce it's not hard <laughs> and to put it all on some nice crusty white bread so we'll get that that's all you need you'll love it it's fantastic especially when you come in from the pub okay the first thing you do is make it a roux this is easy melt some butter in a pan mix some flour in it don't let the butter get too hot you don't want to burn it once the butter's all melted add the flour and stir it up my butter is a bit too hot <laughs> now what you want to do is get the butter mixed nice all well mixed with the flour then you want to cook it out for about, about a minute you don't want to taste the raw flour if you turn the peat right down it won't burn there you go Just add the wine in bit by wine. What am I on about? Just add the beer in bit by bit. Can whisk it at this stage. Okay, <clears throat> into the cheese mix, teaspoon of English mustard and dash of Worcester sauce, lovely, give that a stir in or a whisk in as the case may be. And then I can start adding the cheese. Just do it a bit at a time. So I'll get rid of the whisk now and use a spoon. Now it will melt. It will go a bit thinner for a bit. Let's keep adding the cheese in.
<laughs> also put a little bit of white pepper in, teaspoon. Um, right, okay, what you need, two or three nice, uh, decent thick slices of bread. What we'll do is we'll toast them first. Another grip. Okay, <coughs> toast out from under the grill. Let's get that on there. Now, next, next thing I do, which if you can get over this, I'm sure you probably can, spread a, ni a nice, very, very thin, well, as thin as you can get it because it's quite thick, but a thin layer of marmite over the toast just before you put the cheese on and it adds a really uh, lovely umami flavour does try it, it does genuinely make all the difference now put this cheese back onto the tray okay let's get some cheese on quite thick but it is posh cheese on toast so you do what you want plenty of it on back under the griddle so now the cheese and toast is out of the grill <coughs> just put it onto a separate board just so you don't get cheese all over your plate that you serve it on and it looks okay this time obviously I set fire to it the first time so don't worry about that a uh, bit of Worcester sauce, make it uh, nice and flavourful and then just add some chopped chives just for give it a bit of onion taste, very nice and uh, there you are, and it's good to go Ok, the first thing you can do Right, <clears throat> there's nothing more comforting. I've forgotten the name of the f 